reading and writing numbers. Hi Neha, what are you doing today? Hi Tina, actually I was thinking about three digit numbers. In chapter 1, numbers up to 200 have been discussed. But what about the other three digit numbers? Oh, you want to learn about larger three digit numbers. Don't worry, I will help you. We form numbers greater than 200 in the same way as earlier. To represent 200 on the abacus, we put two beads on the hundreds rod. Similarly, we represent other hundreds on the abacus. As we can put a maximum of nine beads on a spike, so to represent ten hundreds, we insert one more spike on the left of hundreds rod. This rod is called thousands rod. So ten hundreds is equal to one thousand. Oh, it was so easy. Now I can represent more three digit numbers on the abacus. Very good, Neha. Now I am very sure you can also represent three digit numbers using blocks, strips, and grids. Yes, I can. Let us give it a try. Well done, Neha. Now try to understand how we read three-digit numbers. I know. To read a three-digit number, we first read the hundredths digit and then read the tenths and ones digit together. Do you remember the term place value? Of course, yes. The value of a digit based on its place in a number is called its place value. For example, the place value of 4 in 724, 742 and 472 is 4, 40 and 400 respectively. In 724, 4 is at 1's place. So, its place value is 4 ones or 4. In 742, 4 is at tens place. So, its place value is 4 tens or 40. In 472, 4 is at hundreds place. So, its place value is 4 hundreds or 400. I also know how to write a number in expanded as well in short or usual form.